Hello world, it is Victor Two Time, aka the Latin Swordsman. Yes, I made that up. Please don't steal it. And we are on episode 96 of the Surge Chronicles. We are on the precipice. <laughs> on the cusp. Don't say those two words too often. Cusp just sounds nasty anyway. <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, we are extremely close to episode 100. Still unsure as to when I'm going to be releasing these last few videos before I hit 100. I might just release them all in one day on Halloween. Kind of like a just boom, rapid fire. I'm not quite sure yet. Still trying to figure out when I'm going to do that. But anyway, so today, man, I do not have, well, I, I have it. I just don't want to drink it. <laughs> the pre-workout, the C4, but I bought myself a Celsius. So we're going to crack that open. The message of the day is be cautious of people that fantasize too much about being with you or doing things with you. The reason why I say that is because when people just simply fantasize all the time, they're gonna have this made up persona, this made up image of the person you are in that fantasy. When they fantasize about you with that persona so much, that particular fantasy starts to become their reality and you will never ever measure up to this person that they made up in their head. When it comes to a person that fantasizes too much, you have to ask yourself, okay, why are they fantasizing so much? And why aren't they trying to push for doing all these things in reality? And the simple answer is they simply just don't want to put in the effort to do it in reality, to do it in the real world. They can fantasize all day long. Honestly, some people, they fantasize so much, they have lived an entire life with you in their mind and they're satisfied with that. That's all they need. So the fact that they've lived out this entire life with you in their head, in the real world, they can talk to you and see you every so often, and that's all they need. Because they've already had a life with you. They don't technically need you anymore, but they do like having you around. They do like talking to you. So you have to be extremely cautious about people that fantasize way too much about you being with you, doing things with you, because it can turn into your downfall when it comes to being with them. Because you'll never be able to measure up to this image that they have of you in their mind. So. You have to be extremely careful about people that fantasize way too much. When people talk about going on all these crazy vacations and trips and outings and all these different things, and they don't want to actually just go and do it, your best bet is to just walk away. It is. Because they're never going to want to do them. They're too scared to, for whatever reason they have. They like the made-up person that you are in their mind, and they're not going to let that image go. I wonder if people actually think the same way I'm thinking right now when it comes to that type of situation. Do other people feel like when they're dealing with someone who fantasizes too much that they uh, they simply just don't want to deal with reality? And I could be just the fact that that could be their escape. They're living out their life with you in their fantasy, and that is their escape from reality. That actually helps them get by on the day to day. So yeah, man, when I think more about it, it's just kind of heartbreaking that there's a lot of people out there that just simply fantasize day in and day out, and they just don't want to put in the effort to live in reality with the person that they're fantasizing about. Now I get it. <laughs> when you fantasize about a celebrity, when you fantasize about, you know, whoever that is completely out of reach, like, you know, let's be real here, right? But when you're fantasizing about somebody that's right there in front of you, you know, a coworker, uh, you know, a best friend that you're actually in love with, an ex that you still think about every now and again, like all these people are within reach. You know, there could be some obstacles in your way, but you have to decide whether or not those obstacles are more important than living out your fantasy, your possible dream life. Some situations aren't. Some are just simply a fling, you know? Some, some situations, some fantasies, you simply have to just live them, get them out of your system, and then you're good to go. Those type of situations, I feel like are more lustful. They're more of the physical. But when your emotions are involved in the fantasy and you can see yourself living from, you know, the time you're 21 to the time you're 80, and you can see it as clear as day, that's a different type of fantasy. That's the kind of fantasy that you wanna make a reality, right? But again, you have to be cautious about the people that think that way. I fantasize all the time, but as spontaneous as I am, I'll say, let's go do it right now. Or let's start planning right now. Let's do whatever it is that, you know, we're talking about. Let's stop waiting. Because again, and you've heard me say this plenty of times in the previous episodes, you just got to live life, man. So on that particular note, man, I'm going to go ahead and crack this one open. And probably won't be too much of a noise. But let's see. Okay. I think that one came out okay. <laughs> I think it picked up pretty good. You open it all the way now. And it's still spilled. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I got the peach vibe. I think the peach vibe is probably my favorite one. This one and maybe the uh, tropical one with the pineapples. This drink is for the people that want to live their reality. Sure, you can fantasize, but nah. We want to make real things happen. We want 
true happiness, real happiness. Not percent. Cheers, y'all. And I'm, I'm, I'm only going to take a sip of this. I'm not going to drink it all because that will kill me. Yeah, carbonation. I'm going to finish that after the video. But yeah, man, that's all I got for today, y'all. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, y'all stay safe on the battlefields.